we want to use a limit comparison test to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges. We'll begin by determining what infinite series the given series resembles and determine if that series converges or diverges. So looking at the given series, notice how it resembles the series where we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of six raised to the power of n divided by five raised to the power of n. If one or two, we could rewrite this. Notice both the numerator and denominator are being raised to the nth power. So we could write this as the summation from n equals one to infinity of six fifths raised to the power of n. Notice as n increases by one each time, we multiply it by another factor of six fifths. So this is a geometric series where the common ratio r is equal to six fifths, which is greater than or equal to one, and therefore this is a geometric series that diverges. So to apply the limit comparison test, since we're trying to show the given series, which would be the summation of a sub n converges or diverges, and our series resembles the summation of b sub n, which in our case is a geometric series that diverges, then if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals l, where l is positive and finite, because the summation of b sub n diverges, so does the given series of the summation of a sub n. If we were comparing to a known converging series and this limit was positive and finite, then the given series would be convergent. So let's begin by saying the given series resembles the geometric series, the summation from n equals one to infinity of six raised to the power of n divided by five raised to the power of n, which we can also write as a summation of six fifths raised to the power of n, which diverges with with the absolute value of r equals the absolute value of six fifths, which is greater than or equal to one. So now we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n to apply the limit comparison test. So we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which would be six raised to the power of n plus two divided by five to the n, so there's a sub n, divided by b sub n, which would be six to the power of n divided by five to the power of n. And now because this fraction by represents division, we'll write this as a product by multiplying by the reciprocal of six to the n over five to the n. So we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of six to the n plus two divided by five to the n times the reciprocal of six to the n over five to the n, which would be five to the n divided by six to the n. Notice in this form, five to the n over five to the n simplifies to one. We need to be careful, we can't simplify across this sum. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of, we'd have six to the power of n plus two divided by six to the power of n. Now again, we can't simplify in this form, but we can write this as a sum where we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of six to the power of n divided by six to the n plus two divided by six to the power of n. So in this form, we can simplify. Notice how six to the nth over six to the nth would simplify to one over one. And here, as n approaches infinity, notice how the denominator increases without bound. And therefore, this fraction approaches zero as n approaches infinity. And therefore, this limit is equal to one. And because this limit is positive and finite, and we compared the given series to a known divergent series, the given series also diverges. So by the limit comparison test, the summation from n equals one to infinity of six to the power of n plus two divided by five to the power of n 
diverges. I hope you found this helpful.